Hey Aquarius, how you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading for the month of April, April 2023 for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to take a look at what could be coming in for you guys in love, romance, and partnership. If you enjoy these readings, you want more just like this one, be sure to let me know. Um, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings for you guys, okay? Um, if you want a personal love reading, do let me know. All the information is in the description box. Today, I'm going to start off with um, one of my decks found in my Etsy shop. It's called The Epiphany. You guys have probably seen this deck before. So we're going to start off in channel messages from this Oracle deck. Um, please do, again, I, I appreciate your love and support of my channel, what I do. And let's just jump right in, okay, Aquarius? Messages for Aquarius, highest and greatest good for the month of April. What could they be experiencing in their love life, romance, partnerships, any old messages? What is the biggest challenge they're dealing with right now? Messages for Aquarius. Okay, right path for us. Choosing the right path for us. So there's something here about... Someone looking for direction forward with you, Aquarius. So maybe there's someone here where it, it feels like the relationship hasn't been going in the right direction and someone is now trying to get back on track, trying to get back on that right path. So someone may definitely want some kind of future or change with you. Maybe there's a choice, there's a decision that has to be made, okay? And someone wants to make a decision for the betterment of the relationship, so that's the challenge. Maybe you guys are not talking or communicating and that's the challenge, right? Getting right on the, getting on the right path and you guys are not really like talking at this time. Maybe there's been a falling out. Let's get some insight. In the recent past, Aquarius, we have the star. That's your energy. We have the page of wands and the three cups in reverse. I definitely feel like someone has been trying, okay? Maybe not trying hard enough. Page of wands is like a message. It could be some kind of energy or effort being put into moving things forward page of wands wands is fiery it's passionate it's desire so someone definitely desires movement and change with you but maybe they haven't been showing up for you the way that you need them to show up i feel like they haven't been doing much okay or doing enough okay that's the better way to say it three of cups in a verse could suggest some kind of interference from a third party family friends okay there is something here where you guys haven't been able to come together and celebrate each other there's some kind of disharmony or i'm getting like a breakup separation maybe it happened okay recently but the star is here so aquarius even though maybe you guys have gone separate ways there's still an idea of you know recovery wishes hopes okay someone still recognizes that this is a special sacred connection so let's see i feel like aquarius that star can also speak about you know your dreams your wishes your expectations regarding the connection and maybe someone just isn't doing enough okay they're not doing enough to bring that into fruition so the current energy knight of swords in the verse so that's you aquarius i feel like there's an energy of not talking right now to someone Maybe you've quiet them. Maybe they've been quiet. And so you're kind of just like not giving into it anymore. I almost feel like the communication could feel very strained, okay? Especially with the high priestess. You may feel like someone is being very secretive. You may feel like they're not speaking up or speaking their truth. And so Aquarius, I feel like the energy is like, I'm not talking. They're not talking. I'm not talking. So there could have been a fight. Could have been an argument with the Knight of Swords in a verse. Could have been some mean things that were shared or said in the heat of the moment. Um, you know, it could... It could definitely talk about some kind of verbal fight. But the Nine of Cups, I almost feel like there's still an idea of wish fulfillment, dreams, um, you know, regarding happiness, regarding, you know, feelings and love and coming together and sharing that. Nine of Cups can also be overindulging. So maybe someone was doing too much, you know, drinking too much or overindulging in something that wasn't for the betterment of the relationship. I even feel like the Knight of Swords in verse could be someone cutting the other person out because it feels like, well, enough is enough, okay? So yeah, the High Priestess could be someone here not speaking or not wanting to talk or discuss about their overdulgent behaviors. Let's see. What's going on with Aquarius' person? Eight of Swords is in reverse, okay? Three of Pentacles in reverse. You and your person are not on the same page regarding something and it's being highlighted here. I mean, the Eight of Swords could definitely talk about your person being in their head, overthinking, anxiety, fears about what's going to happen. There has been a missed opportunity here with the Eight of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and a verse. 
I almost feel like someone here has been going back and forth regarding you. Maybe they've been very unclear about what they want. They've been very indecisive, not choosing okay, the right path, right? Maybe there was someone, again, getting in the way that kept your person from going all in with you. Ace of Cups in reverse, I almost feel like your person is responsible for this missed opportunity. It's okay, there's something that they've done or something that they did not do that led to this uh, missed opportunity. Someone is still thinking about their Ace of Cups with you, but maybe there is a decision they're having to make. Maybe there is something they're having to let go and compromise, okay? Sacrifice in order to have this new beginning with you. That Three of Pentacles in reverse is suggesting that there are some things that, again, you and your person don't see eye to eye. You're not on the same page regarding. And maybe that is something that has to be worked out before a new beginning takes place. As far as the outcome, we have the Seven of Swords, the Fool card, new beginning on the horizon. Maybe you're done with an Aries. And we have a lot of change, a lot of movement, a lot of communication coming in. When I see this card, I almost feel like if someone was being sneaky, if someone was doing the wrong thing or hiding making mistakes, not owning up to it, not being accountable. Someone is like, I want a new, new opportunity. I want you to, you know, move past that. I want to start off on a clean slate. I want a second chance. And someone wants you to take a risk on them. I mean, it is risky because the Seven of Swords could talk about trust issues or not trusting someone entirely, but then they come back for a new beginning. So yeah, there could be a new beginning with someone here that you have some kind of history with. And the Fool card is kind of like, give me another shot. Uh, you know, I don't, I'm not going to prove you wrong. I'm not going to, um, I'm sorry, I'm not going to uh, let you down this time, okay? There's the energy of like, I want to now have a change in direction, eight of wands, right? And it could be a lot of, lot of information coming through, a lot of communication. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see. I definitely see like seven of swords though. It's like, mm, I don't trust you. You know, you said that before. You, you, you lied to me. You went behind my back. There's something going on there. So let's see, Aquarius, let's jump right in and get some more clarity. If you enjoy these readings, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Choosing the right path for us. What is that about? Give me one card for the challenge. Four cups. So I almost feel like someone has to reject another offer. Maybe there was something here your person was choosing between. I'm getting two people, two options, two people, two paths, that, that kind of thing. And yeah, the Four of Cups, you may have felt rejected by your person, Aquarius. Maybe you felt like they chose someone else or another offer over you. You may have felt like you weren't good enough. You may have felt like they didn't care about the love between you and them. And that is a challenge, right? Maybe you're having to get over some kind of feeling of being or feeling less than or feeling rejected. So you may be also having to choose the right path for you. Any reason past, give me the Page of Wands and a star. The Hierophant came out in a verse. So there was some trust issues in the past, Page of Swords in a verse, and a Page of Wands. I definitely see that someone was not ready for a full-blown commitment. Maybe there was a lot of healing that had to take place regarding a commitment. Maybe someone had experienced a really uh, awful bad marriage or some kind of relationship that set them back. And there's a lot of healing that has to take place. The good thing is that someone's been wanting to move in a new direction. But I definitely feel like they give you bare minimum or less than. Pages could be indicating of children involved. Maybe there is a marriage here that, you know, fell apart and there's children that have been affected. But I definitely also see like someone just not putting in enough pages or messengers or just like little, um, you know, they're elementary. Okay, it feels like it's just not enough. So page of wands could be wanting to move in a new direction, but not really willing to put in the energy or effort it takes to actually get things moving off the ground. So that page of swords in the verse is telling me that, yeah, there is an energy of like not speaking enough, not being honest, not being truthful, um, holding back vital information. Page of swords in verse can look like that. And, you know, it, yeah, it feels like maybe there was a lot of like distrust for someone and maybe that's something you're healing. OK, Aquarius with that star. Queen of Pentacles in verse, there could be a need to heal something regarding someone's inability to uh, give you the security, the stability that you need, okay, especially regarding a relationship. Queen of Pentacles could suggest that you relied on someone, you know, you expected them to, to hold their own and they didn't, okay? You may have felt the need to like invest in yourself because someone wasn't giving you the security and stability you needed. So the star could talk about healing. And knowing your self-worth, knowing what you bring to the table, your value, okay, if someone made you feel like you weren't good enough. I definitely feel like someone um, either stepped out of a commitment, okay, or was even like 
difficult to commit okay maybe you didn't never got to that place of commitment with your person give me the knight of swords and the high priestess could be some secrets here for sure four of swords that could be why someone isn't talking or communicating could be a secret regarding a queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio we also got king of swords that's your energy aquarius gemini libra aquarius the energy is definitely telling me someone is afraid to speak. They're silencing you. Maybe there's a lot of conflict about something they've done. I'm seeing the high priest as being a silent energy as well as a four sword. So someone is really trying hard to keep something a big secret, especially if they feel like if you were to find out, it would really ruffle the feathers here, right? Someone was overindulging, doing something that was very selfish, something that was only for them. And it feels like whatever is hidden, if you were to find out about it, perhaps it would make you very angry or upset. So that's why someone isn't talking to you right now, Aquarius. Eight of Pentacles in the verse, they're just not taking action. You may also feel like they just don't care because the Eight of Pentacles in verse, they're just not committing, they're not contributing, they're not there. What are they in their head about? Eight of Swords could definitely speak about your person constantly in their head, stressed, anxious, worried about their future. Six of Wands and a Seven of Pentacles could suggest there's a lot of anxiety they're having to remove themselves from or let go of regarding what their future looks like. How they're going to invest, how they're going to put in time, energy into this to make it better. This is someone that sees that there is an opportunity for something to grow, for something to be long-term, and they want to win, right? Six of Wands is I want to win you back. I want to win you over. I want to accomplish something. I want to be successful. Six of Wands is like, I almost feel like your person wants your attention. And there could be a lot of fears, a lot of negative thinking regarding their inability to get that back, okay? How to win you back. Three of Pentacles in a verse, there's some big major issues regarding where you guys stand, and how you guys give, right? How you contribute in relationships. There's something here that may have not been balanced or fair. There's the energy of having to reciprocate. Maybe your person's learning how to better reciprocate. Because the three of pentacles in verse could suggest other people they were giving to and they were not giving enough time energy to you. You could have felt like you were being robbed, right? You gave, but they gave less than. There's something here that has to be more balanced out. And it feels like, again, there's some difference in how you guys view things, how you view commitment, how you view partnerships. Now, the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, I almost feel like a person recognizes that it's because of their inability to make a decision regarding you and maybe something else or someone else. It has resulted in a big missed opportunity in their life. So the Ace of Cups in the verse, this is someone that feels like there's no love. There's no love for them, and it's because of their own doing. Two of Pentacles, maybe they've been going back and forth. There is some kind of change happening, and the Two of Pentacles in the verse could suggest there's something they're finally letting go and dropping. Maybe they're recognizing that they can't have two things at the same time. They can't juggle. And there could be a sacrifice. There could be letting go, dropping something, so that they can better manage their connection with you and get to that Ten of Pentacles. I do see the Ten of Pentacles as something that they're striving for. There could be your person also... Wanting to be with you for maybe some kind of financial stability reasons, okay? I don't know if there's something here regarding that, money, but also family, home, Ten of Pentacles could represent uh, marriage. So there is a new beginning coming in, the full card. It's going to require you, Aquarius, to take a risk, to put yourself out there, especially with someone that you don't entirely trust, Seven of Swords. There could be something regarding distrust you know you did me wrong you hurt me you fooled me you deceived me um there's movement there's change coming in regarding you and that person because someone here wants to get out of the cold five of pentacles and a verse and a fool it's like i want to get out of the cold i'm tired of being alone i'm tired of being x out out of your life the five of pentacles and verses tell me your person feels like in this place of lack or at a loss without you and they're wanting to take such steps to now get back in I feel alone. I feel deprived. And so the full card coming out twice is definitely your person, Aquarius, presenting a new opportunity to have a new beginning, fresh start, second chance. They want you to take a risk. Okay, It is very risky. It's entirely up to you. There can also be a lot of communication coming in to support this new beginning, maybe reasons as to why you should accept this new beginning with them. Okay. So that the challenge is the four cups and the choosing the right path. So maybe you guys are having to choose the right path for you, your family. Um, and the four cups, you may not know. You may feel like, I don't know if this is for me. Four cups is rejection or, you know, feeling like, you know, I don't know. I, there's boredom or complacency with this card. So that is what I'm seeing. You have big decisions to make. 
and it cannot just affect you, it can affect other people for sure. So Aquarius, if you enjoy that reading, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings. This is for the month of April. It can certainly play out over the next couple of weeks. And take what resonates, all right? You guys have a beautiful weekend. Take care.